A discussion group is a group of individuals, typically who share a similar interest, who gather either formally or informally to discuss ideas, solve problems, or make comments. Common methods of conversing include e meeting in person, conducting conference calls, using text messaging, or using a website such as an internet forum. People respond, add comments, and make posts on such forums, as well as on established mailing lists, in news groups, or in IRC channels. Other group members could choose to respond by posting text or image. Discussion groups evolved from Usenet which is a traced back to early 80s. Two computer scientists Jim Ellis and Tom Truscott founded the idea of setting a system of rules to produce articles, and then sent back to their parallel news group. Fundamentally, the form of discussion group was generated on the concept of Usenet, which emphasized ways of communication via email and web forums. Gradually, Usenet had developed to be a system of channels which provide notifications and articles to meet the general public's needs. Nowadays, World Wide Web gradually takes on the major role of supporting and extending platforms for discussion groups on the Internet by setting up various web servers. Google Groups has become one of the major online discussion groups, with a wide range of worldwide frequent users. Features include The ability for anyone to create new groups and join existing groups. The ability to search for groups that focus on specific subject matter, as well as advanced search features that allow the search results to be filtered by date, language, and post author, among others. 6. Three levels of group participation, public, announcements only, and restricted. Facebook groups simplify processes and protect the privacy of users when they interact with people. Users can create a group and delegate administration. Group administrators are able to make a range of adjustments to the group page, such as changing its cover photo, moderating posts and comments, and pinning posts so that they permanently appear at the top of the group page. Administrators can also create group events, news updates, and manage group members. By default, groups are public, and anyone can join them at the discretion of that group's administrators. However, groups may be marked as private. A user may only join such a group if an existing member sends them an invitation. A single user is capable of joining a maximum of 6,000 groups. The implementation of Google Groups comes with its own advantages. For diverse users, it provides the service of interpreting languages widely which helps present a better way to communicate effectively with people in different countries. Considering of storage, one group member enjoys 100 megabytes while there are no restrictions for the whole group. It delivers convenience for group members work on projects that need considerably more storage than normal files, for example, presentations. Studies indicate Facebook provides users in discussion groups with more opportunities to post content that has correlation with social, political, or sporting issues. Information in discussion groups are usually archived. For example, Google's Groups is an archive of Usenet articles trace back to 1981. Discussion group archives are sometimes an effective way to find an answer to very ambiguous questions. <laughs>